एम एस रामाया यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंसेस हेलो फ्रेंड्स विद दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर डिटरमाइनिंग द स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ गिवन सैंपल ऑफ वन कोर्स एग्रीगेट टू फाइन एग्रीगेट अपैरेटिस ग्लास वेसल और जार फॉर कोर्स एग्रीगेट अ वाइड माउथ ग्लास वेसल सच एज अ जार ऑफ अबाउट वन पॉइंट फाइव लीटर कैपेसिटी विद अ फ्लैट राउंड लिप एंड अ प्लेन ग्राउंड डिस्क ऑफ ग्लास प्लेट टू कवर इट टू गिव वर्चुअली अ वॉटर टाइट फिट अ पाइकनोमीटर फॉर फाइन एग्रीगेट of about 1 liter capacity having a metal conical screw top with a 6 mm diameter hole at its apex the screw top shall be water tight when it is screwed onto the jar a balance of capacity not less than 3 kg readable and accurate to 0.5 grams specific gravity of a material may be defined as the ratio of weight of known volume of the material to the weight of equal volume of water both weights being measured at same standard temperature this standard temperature is 4 degrees celsius the determination of specific gravity helps in the calculation of quantities of materials required in concrete mix design by knowing the specific gravity of each constituent in a concrete mix its weight can be converted into solid volumes and hence a theoretical yield of concrete per unit volume can be calculated specific gravity is also required in calculating compaction factor in connection with workability measurements of concrete procedure for coarse aggregate the empty jar is weighed and then filled up with clean and dry coarse aggregate sample up to about 1/3 of its depth and weighed again Now water is added to the full capacity and weighed. Care must be taken to remove air bubbles. The aggregate is removed and the jar is cleaned. It is now filled completely with water and the weighed again. Fine aggregate that is sand. The empty weight of the pyknometer with conical top is taken. It is then filled up to about one third of its depth with given of sand. which must be clean and dry weighed again water is added to this fully and weighed again aggregate is removed and pyknometer is cleaned now the pyknometer is filled completely with water and weighed again calculations and observations coarse aggregate weight of empty sample w1 in grams weight of vessel plus 1/3 of coarse aggregate w2 in grams weight of vessel plus 1/3 of coarse aggregate plus water w3 in grams weight of vessel plus water w4 in grams and specific gravity is calculated by the formula shown fine aggregate weight of empty pyknometer w1 in grams weight of pyknometer plus 1/3 of fine aggregate w2 in grams weight of pyknometer plus 1/3 of fine aggregate plus water w3 in grams weight of pyknometer plus water w4 in grams and specific gravity is calculated by the formula hi students now we are doing the specific gravity of fine aggregates so what do you mean by specific gravity it is defined as a ratio of weight of the any material to the weight of equal volume of the standard material the apparatus required for this experiment is the electronic wave balance of 1 gram accuracy pyknometer generally this pyknometer is used to determine the specific gravity of finer material this pyknometer is having three parts one is a brass conical shape along with the rubber seal a jar and a collar cap so the next apparatus is i taken some quantity of sand and the water let's start doing the experiment first what i am going to do is i am going to take up the empty weight of the 
dry pycnometer. This has to be oven drive. I am taking the empty weight of the pycnometer. This weight I am going to note it as W1 grams. After this, what I am going to do? I am going to add one third layer of it with fine aggregate. Approximately one third will be added. So I taken one third of the sand. I am going to fix the collar and the cap back. And I am going to take up W2. That is the weight of pycnometer plus the sand particle. What I am going to do next is I am going to completely fill this with water. So we'll remove the top portion only with measuring cylinder. So first, initially, what I'm going to do, I'm going to completely fill the remaining portion with water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add up the conical portion with the water. I'm going to make sure that this conical flask is completely filled with water. I'll remove this excess water which is outside. Okay. After filling this complete, uh, the tip completely with the water, I'm going to note down W4. Next, what I am going to do, I am going to completely throw away this W3 weight. I am going to take up the complete empty bottle, fill it with the water and once again I will take the weight. After W3, what we are going to do, we are going to take, fill this complete container with water. Fix the collar and the cone cap. Completely fill the remaining portion with the water. Okay, take down the W4 weight. By having these four weights, we can easily calculate the specific gravity of the fine aggregates. Generally, it lies somewhere in between 2.5 to 2.6. It depends upon the uh, source of the fine aggregate. This completes the specific gravity of fine aggregates. At MSR UAS, we spark your imagination unlike any other.